Queen. You always had song parodies, but I remember when we, and you always did them live, but when you came on my podcast, I think like eight years ago, was, or even a little before that, you were telling me like at that time, you were like, oh, this YouTube thing's really taking off. I'm going to really try to really get these this videos new together. Thing, <laughs> the YouTube. new tangled thing. This oh. new, the kids are watching new YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so you really, at that point, you'd been established, you'd been around for so long, but you didn't rest on your laurels. You were like, I need to get into this new thing. And it really worked because you started to get these parody videos, which gave you a whole new audience. Oh, it was, it really changed a lot. I mean, I had just, you know, I had moved to when Giuliani was destroying New York City. Right. I moved to Berlin and I have to, you know, give credit where credit is due. YouTube was brand new and um, there's a, a performer, Mila Jam. Yeah. Who was, you know, a drag queen back then. At the, and at the time, she at was the named time. Brittany Houston. Brittany I Houston. love her. If you want to hear the song I wrote for her, it's called And the Crowd uh, Goes. It's pretty great. Hold it. And she's, you know, she's so amazing. gorgeous. Yeah, I love she's her. She's beautiful. She's so dear. And so talented. So dear and talented. And Jackie Beat were the two, like, doing um, some videos. And I was like, talking to Jackie, like, how are you getting bookings in Ohio? Because uh -huh. we all did, like, the big cities. Right. This is before Drag Race when we all... Before. Right. And, um, before, but all these other bitches still <laughs> your, fill your money and your job. I'm totally kidding. And I said, Jackie's like, YouTube, I'm getting all these bookings from YouTube. And I was like, oh, let me get in on that. But Britney was huge. She was getting like millions of hits. Yeah, she was doing tons right. of parodies. Parodies. And I'd never seen anyone do that. So I was like, oh, and I'd been performing parodies. So I found this guy, Francis Legg, who is my video partner. Yeah. And we just started cranking them out. And it wasn't until... The Gaga, we had done several uh -huh. that were doing okay, but it was the Gaga, it was just the timing was kind of perfect. It was, and you did the legendary Shit My <laughs> Pants. <laughs> One of many songs about poop, Lady Ryan. Honey, you gotta That's Terry Von sings. <laughs> she is wonderful, but her breath does smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you, got, you gotta stick to your what you know. You I write about the three Ps, yeah. poop, penis, prostitution. Wonderful, <laughs> yes. Stick to what you know. Uh, oh my yeah, God. that was crazy. And that was just like about timing. It was the height of Lady Gaga. It was the height of Perez Hilton because uh -huh. Perez is the one who put it up and right. it exploded. And it was just like, uh, yeah, the right timing. And you, then that changed that a lot. It was really got amazing. You all over the place. I remember going to like some video bar in like Orlando <laughs> and they were like, play the shit my pants again. <laughs> I love it. I can't believe it's like God, it was six and a half years ago. Yeah. Almost seven. My goodness, time flies. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey.